Now it is important to size this filter to your tank. As this filter will be siphon fed, the last thing you want is for the power to go out, the filter to overflow and causing a mess. So I normally cut the filter body either the same length or roughly 5mm taller than the tank and in that way if the power should fail um, the level inside the tank and the filter will just equalize and you won't lose any water. Now I'm using 115mm PVC pipe for the filter body and uh, what I need to do is cut the pipe square uh, because the edges are still uneven and uh, I'm going to do this, I don't have any fancy jigs so I've just cleared a shelf um, on one of my bookshelves and using a kitchen knife and a cup, very high tech stack those two uh, on top of each other and uh, bring the blade in contact with the pipe and then just press it press the pipe um, onto the edge of the bookshelf and then just slowly roll the pipe over which then leaves you with a score line on the edge of the pipe which we can then cut out with a hacksaw Now with my glass cut and my filter body trimmed, I can build a filter. I've also marked the inside diameter um, of the filter tube onto the glass and you'll see why in a minute. Another tip, when storing an opened tube of silicon, after you've finished, remove the nozzle, clean it out and then just squirt out a little bit of silicon out the tip and that would form a plug that will stop the rest of the silicon from drying out and next time when you're going to use it just uh, take off the plug put the nozzle back on and you're ready to go like so it's also handy to have a piece of cloth handy when you're working with silicon as it can get quite messy. I forgot to mention that I've already cleaned the glass and the tube um, with a cloth and some spirits. You don't want any grease or dirt on the glass or on the tube when you're going to glue it with the silicon. Now the reason I put the inside diameter on the glass is um, I'm going to put a bead of silicon just outside that line and that will ensure I have a good um, amount of silicon in between the glass and um, the plastic of the filter tube. You want to trim the, um, the nozzle of the silicon tube so you get about a about a three to four millimeter bead. This is a bit of the bit of a tricky part. Now carefully take your tube and lay it onto the piece of glass, slowly twisting as you go till it's seated properly on the glass. 
Then, you want to smooth the silicon out so you have a nice finish. So you just wet your finger and smear and turn the base as you go along. Now I've got a little patch there that doesn't have enough silicon so I'm just gonna put a little bit extra down just to make sure it actually seals. It's also important to use marine silicon that doesn't have any fungicides in it which wouldn't be very healthy for your fish. And there we have it. There's a the filter all glued together. Now I'm going to leave that to stand for uh, a good 12 12 to 16 hours uh, depending on the brand of silicon normally about 12 hours for the silicon to fully cure and here we have the finished product all that was left for me to do is was to stick a pump in the bottom in the sump add my filter media and make a, si a siphon tube um, in my case I used some Cypherax um, ceramic filter media and I added some filter floss at the top just to do the mechanical um, mechanical filtration. To make a siphon tube I used normal electrical PVC pipe and using a pipe spring um, I bent, I put a bend in it and then also to stop the filter from sucking in fish I just drilled um, a couple of holes around the bottom just to break the flow a little bit. Now to start the filter you simply fill the siphon tube with water, put your thumb on it and bring it over into the filter and let go. And that starts quite easily enough, taking into account I'm doing this one handed as I'm holding the camera with one hand and quickly fills the filter and if I turn it on wet hands and electricity winner you can see you have a nice steady flow rate the pump doesn't drain any of the filter media so everything stays wet and it, re it returns the water via the return tube back into the tank it's so pretty well I hope you guys enjoyed the video please rate and subscribe if you have any questions feel free to ask and I uh, see you later